Welcome YouTube to Brick Talk. I'm the Brick Zapper. And I'm the Brick Adjuster. And we are the hosts of Brick Talk. So, Brick Zapper, did you know about the new Minecraft sets that they talked about the other day? Yes, I keep on hearing it around our house, Minecraft. <laughs> it's not just the mini scale, it's actually the minifigure scale Minecraft. Ooh, so we can go in it? Uh, not, uh, yeah, I guess. But the one I'm excited about would be the mine, it's the biggest one. I, it's either a hundred pounds or hundred dollars, I'm not sure. So that means we have to cha-ching, save up for it? Yeah, or we can get the cave, it's only 20 bucks. Ah, uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> but there's six, there's six of them. There's the cave, the farm, the first night, creative box, the ender dragon, and the mine. Ooh, Big T is gonna be super excited about this. I know. When is it coming out? Uh, we don't know that yet, but we just know that they're coming out. They don't haven't even shown the pictures yet, so we don't know how it looks like. But I'm also guessing, I don't know what the minifigures are going to be. There probably is Steve, there might be a farmer. So maybe Christmas presents? Actually not a farmer, a villager. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds cool. Hey, and how about the Philly Brickfest coming up? What do you know about it? Um, I know it's next weekend. Already? Too bad we can't go. Yeah, how come? Why is that? I don't know, why is that? Uh, yeah. But uh, I would love to go there. We went to uh, Philadelphia last uh, September with the kids. For the marathon, right? Yes, that was fun. And I would love to go to Philly Brick Brickfest one of these days again. I know if we were going, we'd be able to see Clutch and YCF, your creative friends. And I know a whole bunch of other YouTubers are going. Cool. Um, and also on the way to Philadelphia, we could have gone to the Falling Water. Oh yeah, we have, that, we have that architecture set, don't we? One of these days. Maybe. So, did you hear about the new Kuso project coming out in October? Yeah, I guess it's been quite the project in the make. Yeah, it's the Exo suit. Yeah, so it looks a little interesting, I think. You don't like it? Mm, is it a mech? So I'm just gonna say, meh, not my thing. But it's like a, like a transformer, kind of. If anything, I think it looks like it could be part of an accessory piece that will go with the super... The Superstar Destroyer? Yeah, all that gray look. Mm. You're not a big fan, you like the colors. Not too colorful. Lego Friends. You're into Lego Friends, aren't you? Whistle sound. <laughs> <laughs> Today on the Brick Talks Focus, we want to talk about Falling Water. Falling Water is the name of a very special house that's actually built over a waterfall by the famous designer Frank Lloyd Wright. And we're just very lucky to have the Lego set that was created in 2009 uh, from the Architecture Architect series. Falling Water has 811 pieces and it's sold for about $99.99 US uh, and it's set number 210051. Falling Water is actually one of my favorite of the Architect series and created again in 1934. It actually is a made public in 1963. Uh, it's actually in Pennsylvania and we could have, I guess, gone through it uh, on our way to Philadelphia last September. The Architect series design of Falling Water actually is beautiful as it exemplifies how the house itself is situated on the rugged terrain of the area. The house is actually built for the Kaufman family who now own the Macy's department store. Originally, the family hired the architect to design the house so that they could have a beautiful view of this waterfall. Instead, they were happily surprised when falling water was actually created on top of the waterfall. So this concludes today's episode of Brick Talk. This is the Brick Zapper and the Brick Adjuster signing off. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another episode. Bye!